Good morning everybody, I'm Belinda and I'm back with another Trashcraft Tuesday. Welcome to my channel. So if you haven't seen any of my Trashcraft videos before, I take items that would normally be recycled or thrown out or burnt or something and try and make something with them. So today I am working with some items that my neighbour collected for me. So a while back now I gave her a box and asked her for them to, as a family, to put in items that they were throwing out. And I'm delving back into that box today to make today's item. So what I'm working with is a tea box. This is the same size tea box as this one, same design. Uh, but this one I've already started to take apart. And I've nudified it, if that's a word. Maybe, maybe not. Um, so what I mean by that is I've peeled off the shiny pattern of the card. Now a subscriber put me onto this, my friend Prue. So thank you for this idea, Prue. Uh, and in doing this, one, it eliminates the shiny surface that can be a problem for sticking things to. And two, it helps uh, make the cardstock a little bit thinner. So if you don't want it too bulky, removing that layer just helps make it thinner and a bit lighter. So you're not, by the time you've collaged it up or whatever you want to do to it, it's not too thick or too stiff. Now if you want it stiff, then by all means just glue over top. Um, or if you don't want to take the time, it, don't be in a hurry to do it. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. I find it quite uh, therapeutic actually to sit there and pick away at it. Still got a little bit there, but that's neither here nor there. So to today's project. So I've opened all this out. Um, because they glue these boxes with quite thick hard glue, you do get some damage to the card. Uh, and you've just got to really work around that. So these two side pieces are damaged. And so is this middle bit. Um, but I'm just going to cut below where it's damaged. I might not need it but I'm just going to preserve it just in case I do and I'm going to start so I'm going to cut down essentially the center panel keep the center panel like so that side and then this side And with this middle bit, I am going to make a belly band. Now, I did want to uh, turn this flap bit here with this little tab. I wanted to keep that as is. Uh, but because of the damage to the other end, I, I haven't got room to do that. So I'll have to keep that in mind for another box and hope that I can get it intact from it another box um, otherwise my belly band's not going to be long enough okay now these little tabby bits uh, some of them are damaged like they're, they're very thin so I went around and put X's and ticks on various ones as to whether they were salvageable or not so I'm going to throw out the ones that uh, were damaged and keep the ones that have ticks on so that's a Tick one there. This one's across because it took too much of the card off. And then there's another tick here. Hope everyone's well today. I'm still got the cold. You might be able to tell in my voice. And now my hubby is homesick as well. So, right. So I'm just uh, measuring this on my page so cut this little tab bit off the top so if you don't have an envelope punch board or something else then look for these wee tabs as a template to trace around to create a file tab for top of a journal card right. and just a little bit off the bottom here so it fits our page nicely. And this is a standard A4 size piece of paper folded into a journal page. There we go. So that's about the right size. So this is going to be my belly band base. 
and I could collage it up and do all sorts of things like that but in the interest of time and keeping things simple I am just going to cover it with scrapbook paper because uh, I believe you all know how to collage and while I love collaging I just want to keep this relatively short because there's a few different elements to this project that I want to do uh, so it's not just a simple belly band I'm going to do something which I hope you'll find cool um, to it and then hopefully if I've still got time make a journal card to go behind from another tea box that's my goal so we'll see how far we get so I've just covered that in glue stick now I'm just gonna pop it down onto my scrapbook paper and it's not quite straight as you can probably see so I can just trim trim that up you know trim off the scrapbook paper and I do have a little bit of glue spots still on here um, which I'm just trying to see if I can get down so they don't interfere with things being put behind the belly band I think they'll be okay right so just going to trim around this now and I'm not worried about it being perfectly straight or anything just as long as it looks you know pretty pretty close so I'm just going to trim up that little bit at the end there that's sticking out Side. So there's the, the belly band base, pretty simple so far. Right, now I want to turn attention to these little side tab bits. So we've got two pairs that were salvageable and on the box they appear like so. That's how they are connected to the box. Tabs that fold over and form that shape. Now these two came from opposite ends of the box, so they are the same, same direction. Oops, I've got a cat here stuck to, oops, there we go. So one of these, to form the right shape, this shape here, needs to be flipped over, like so. So I'm just trying to decide whether I want to use the holes or this one. I think I'll go with the holes just because that's a bit different um, having the holes in there, different shape and there was a lot of uh, very stiff glue around these that went over top of the holes um, so hopefully that's okay now right so I've got a, another bit of paper here which I thought might work with this other piece of scrapbook paper so this is a 6x6 six six piece and I'm going to glue these to the back of this without gouging out my glue stick on these holes because that's always a possibility all too real possibility so I'm just going to stick these on oops just going to line it up with the edge some not wasting my paper so just working my glue stick around the hole so that I don't end up cutting out big gouges in my glue stick and this one so if you've watched the previous video where I worked with these types of tabs and I made little opening doors saloon type doors I'm not doing that today I'm doing something different so Stay tuned to see what I have in mind for these little tabby bits. Again, I'm really intrigued by the shape of them. Uh, these ones with the holes in are, are extra cool. Uh, it's all those little details that I like to make use of. Oops, sticking to my scissors. straight would be really good and there's actually a slightly curved top to these so just round that off 
。ね、はい、はい、so we've got two little so when I did the doors、um, the saloon doors I had them like this and they opened to reveal something underneath oops I forgot to do these wee you wouldn't need to cut these little triangles off the bottom you could leave them intact but I would prefer to reveal the shape of the card、um, because that's what makes it more interesting to me so Last time I worked with these, I made them this way round, so this time I'm going to use them as they were on the box, like this. Okay, so I'm just going to take my hole punch, it's not the same size as these holes,、um, but that's okay. I'll just do kind of middle of each one, it's not completely middle, but good enough. Actually, I wonder if my small hole punch would actually. I don't know where I've put it. Oh well. my This regular、um, small hole punch, craft punch, might have been the right size. But that's alright, we'll just leave it at that. And you could go in with a little pair of scissors or a craft knife or something and try and cut those out. But I'm not going to take that time. And I've got to remember to put them the right way round. Right, so these. I'm going to ink up. <clears throat> Please do excuse the、uh, froggy quality to my voice. Yep, so Hubby's now got my cold, so hopefully he's, his doesn't last as long as what mine is. It'd be super frustrating for, for his work and for him, and for me too. <laughs> I'm still waiting on mine to go. And it's been two weeks. So I'm going to also ink around this. There we go. So these are going to go. Attach onto my belly band, and they don't have to meet in the middle, like they don't have to butt up. They can you can have a gap between them, depending how you wide you want this. And this is going to form a pocket. So I am going to glue down the side and the bottom once I clear this little bit of dried glue off the top of my glue. So, I'm using tacky glue for this. So, I'm going to glue down the side and the bottom and leave the middle open. So, and I'm going to leave the triangle too. I'm not going to glue, put glue on that little triangle corner just in case because this will be sufficient to hold something in the pocket. And then I'm going to show you what I've got in mind for the wee pocket for some extra fun. Just clean up that. Glue that's spilling out the side there. Okay, and same on the other one. Hope I'm on camera for this, although I'm just gluing, so you know, probably not the most critical of things to, to show you. Right, now the hard part trying to line them up so they're sort of straight. So I'm just going to put my Ruler, actually, line my ruler up so that they're level ish on the bottom. So, there you see, we've got this little gap in between them, which is just super cool. Right, there we go. Right, so we've got this little Pocket in here. So I'm not going to force it while the、um, glue's wet and this card is quite thick. So I'm just going to let that dry and move on to what I'm going to put in the pocket. And for this, I need to grab back another bit of the box. I think that's good size. 
and I've got a compass here. <clears throat> now you could use anything for this, you could use, um, I think this was the right size, this jar of gloss medium, maybe a little bit too big. You could draw around something that's the right size. I'm going to make a circle little journal card or tag or piece of ephemera to tuck inside that to pop it on the journal on the belly band. So I'm just going to roughly work out from the center how big it needs to be. So if you've got a punch the right size, you can use a punch, um, you could die cut it. I didn't bother getting out my cuddle bag, I just wanted to demonstrate a way that you could do this. Uh, you know, multiple ways that you can do this. And if you've got a compass available, or want to pick up a compass, because they're, you know, they're not expensive, um, then it's quite handy way, you know, it's, it's more of an old school way of doing it. Right, so... Bearing in mind this card has a really nice white surface on one side and then the rough surface where I've peeled off the design on the other. So cover your rough side and then you've got the nice smooth side to use it as a writing surface if you want to use this as a, a little journal spot. So I did not think what paper I might like to cover this with, so I'm busy wondering what I might have to cover this with. And maybe I'll grab out another sheet from this yellow paper pad so that it will coordinate. So let's See what we might like go with some that would actually be quite nice if we pick out this flowers and the butterfly or oh, there's a wee bee here the wee bee might be cute so I'm busy creating more scraps aren't I and there's a wee bee down here too which one do I want I can't get uh, maybe I could get both bees or do I want the daffodil I think I want the daffodil So let's go in here. Um, okay, so just thinking through the process of how to do this so I get the right bit on my circle. So I'm going to glue it on first and then cut around it. So I just need to be careful about where I place it so that I get the the elements that I want on the front of my little card here. That's the B. Yep. There we go. And just clean off the bit of glue that I got transferred from my glue page in the back there. And trim that out. So yeah, I hope you are all well out there. There's quite a few bugs going around at the moment, so hopefully you're all well and fighting fit and enjoying the day. It's a beautiful, beautiful warm day here today, which is really super nice, and I just wish I was feeling a bit better to enjoy it and same with hubby although if he was well he would be at work so um yeah being sick is just super annoying right oh i think that's that's so cute can you see that wee bee down in the corner there so i'm gonna ink this up as well I did have this in mind for a bee journal, so um, I'm quite happy to find a, a bit of matching paper with a bee on it. 
and now do I want to have a hole so I'm just gonna carefully now it's, is it going to be too big maybe I made it too big because you've got to allow for the glue on the sides of course I think it is slightly too big so let's just mm, maybe I will use the compass again just to make sure that I cut it in a circle so I still want to retain my bead so I've offset the center a bit and I've probably made it too small now but that's okay too small means it's going to fit and I'll have to re-ink it So tip for when you're cutting circles, um, a lot of people find it easier if they move the item that you're cutting and not your scissors. Um, I find for me it's actually easier to move the scissors. Um, I make less flat areas if I move the scissors and that's probably because it's the way I've been doing it all my life so I'm very practiced at it. But just experiment with what works better for you. edge it's a nice ink and because I've made it smaller yep that fits beautifully now I am going to give it a little whoops sorry about that little tab top and I'm not sure what I'm going to put through the hole yet probably some ribbon or something I don't have it here with me beside me so I will do that soon so there we go we've got our little element to tuck in there now if you didn't want to make something you could have a pre-made piece of ephemera out of a pack a die cut um cut a picture out of a magazine and just back it with some card you know you can do lots of things you could stamp an image onto card and then use that uh, you could make a, a tag to tuck in there and you could do both you could do this and then tuck in a tag behind that as well and then that goes on our page when I grab the page back out because I buried it as a cool little belly band with this neat little feature down here. Uh, so you could further decorate this up too and I probably will with uh, some sort of word or something. Um, I'm working on a printable kit and this is a a test print of it uh, so it's it won't look like this it will be a few differences um, but I'm thinking one of the words here is honeybees so maybe if I just cut this out So I'm hoping to have this uh, new kit, which is an add-on to my existing vintage florals kit. I'm hoping to have that up. I can't imagine it'll be this week now because hubby being sick. Possibly next week. Uh, it's coming together quite nicely. It's got lots of different ephemera pieces in it, all to tie in with my other main kit. And I'm designing also some additions to that main kit that'll be added on to the kit the existing kit in Etsy, so it's going to be even better value. Right, so I could put that somewhere. Needs a bit of book page or something behind it. So just digging in my bag of bits. So here we go, I've got a bit of music paper here. Tearing down to the music part. 
very, very thin paper, this. Get a little bit of ink. <clears throat> mm, sorry about that. The at him bug. Right, and ink our power little word as well. I think these are super cute. They've got a little uh, film strip frame around the words, which I just think is really sweet. And interesting. There we go. So, and I might add some other things. Oops, I've got ink sponge crumbs everywhere. Uh, I might add something else, so I'm not sure, but for now I'm going to leave that as is. Okay. So, I wanted to also make a journaling card to go behind. Yeah, we've still got some time. So I've got this other box here. Also was from my neighbour. It's a, another tea box, a different type of tea. And I had so many ideas for this. Um, lots of things I wanted to try and do with it. Um, and I couldn't get them all out of the one box. Like I need multiples of this box to make all the different ideas I had. But I really liked the shape. I think it's very cool shape. So it's got these round, it's, you know, it's got all the folds and everything. And it's got these flappy bits and I like how it curves around. And I thought that makes a really cool journal card. Like so. So nice big one to go in a big pocket or behind a belly band. So, because I have other ideas for this card, I thought, well, I'm going to use this as a template. So, I need a piece of paper, and I'm going to use this um, 120 GSM brown paper. Which I got from my local Dollarama. And I'm using this because as I was looking around for a bit of paper, I spotted it right beside me. So it's like, yep, that's what I'll use. So I'm going to just line up the edges with my paper. And I'm not going to complete this journal card on camera. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to approach it. Now there is a little kink there. I'm just going to trace it and then I'll take the kink out when I'm trimming around it. So that there's no kink. Oops, that wasn't ideal moving it there. Let's get it straight again. Hopefully that's okay. So yes, keep a good grip so it doesn't move on you. <laughs> there we go. So I just think that's a really cool shape. And you could just cut a piece of card the same size and give it rounded corners and you're done. But sometimes looking at something like a bit of packaging just helps you see things in different light and brings you different ideas uh, that you may not have thought of. Like, that's the perfect size. The sizing is just fabulous. Um, so I may actually keep that bit of box just as a template. So I've always got it there to remind me of the size, the perfect size and the shape. And then one day I might end up with another box the same that I can make other things with. Rounding these corners off. Oops. So I will decorate up the front of the journal card. Um, I'm most likely going to collage it, so that's why I'm not going to do it now. And then the back will just be left plain uh, and inked, of course, if the ink shows. I'm not sure whether it will. And then that will form the journaling card to go behind our belly band. Oh, that's going to look super cute. 
Now if you discover that this is too wide then just cut a bit off and then trace around your corners again and reshape them to give you a narrower one if that's what you prefer. But I think that is just the perfect size and plenty of room to glue at the top and the bottom so that we can still slide it in and out with no issue. So there we go, there's my project today from two tea boxes. Uh, using quite a bit of this first tea box for various aspects and then this other bit from another tea box. So open out some boxes, have a look at the shapes and see where they could lead you for interesting bits and pieces. I hope you really like this idea. I'll show you up close there, that little pocket there with its little pull out piece of ephemera there. And I could put a word or something on that as well. And I probably will. So thanks for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day everybody. Bye.